Okay, so this uh, unit just uh, came in the workbench today. It's a dummy load. Okay. Uh, there's been a lot of review already about this unit, and uh, that's why I got myself one. I got it at around uh, $30 from a local uh, reseller here in uh, the Philippines and uh, uh, all I have to do now is to verify its uh, functionality if it's working and all okay so first up uh, this unit has uh, two function modes and uh, some protection features I'll just uh, verify those uh, features and then I'll go ahead and uh, proceed with my project what I have in mind uh, fitting this in a nice enclosure along with uh, this uh, LCR meter I reviewed uh, a few days back and so first up is the uh, power up let's just uh, power up this unit to see if it uh, will start uh, properly so the expected result will be all these uh, digits and all the LEDs and indicators will uh, just uh, light up and then the fan will uh, just uh, spin for a while uh, this so that the controller can verify that uh, everything is uh, functioning well so let's uh, just try that now okay my power supply here is a dual power supply Okay, the channel 1 will be used to power this unit and the uh, channel 2 will serve as uh, the source for this uh, load. So, channel 2 will be uh, set as a current or voltage source for this one. Okay, so let's uh, just try powering it on. Okay, so power supply is set at... Uh, 12 volts okay, at uh, half an amp as uh, originally re required by this unit okay so there we go okay so uh, it's uh, just as uh, expected the unit power up uh, displaying all the digits then it goes to a standby mode right now it's uh, this display uh, the minimum cut of voltage which is uh, 1 volt and then the uh, minimum uh, current draw with a, which is uh, around 200 amps okay so next up we'll be selecting the function or mode for this unit this has two functions uh, function 1 and function 2 and I'll explain the difference between the two functions uh, as we go along this was uh, 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 greatly explained by uh, a review I s I've seen on YouTube uh, you just uh, look it up I think it's from Volt Plug uh, he uh, provided uh, a detailed information about this uh, unit so next up uh, we'll explore uh, the different functions of this unit okay let's just uh, power this off okay so we're now ready for the next uh, test uh, this is the mode select or function select uh, feature for this uh, dummy load okay uh, generally function one uh, has a feature of continuous it continues to run and uh, recovers uh, after uh, after uh, the, about the voltage cut off and then if the voltage again rises above this cut off it, rec it recovers and uh, continues running but uh, function 2 it cuts off the load and then does not uh, reset or recover even if uh, the source voltage goes up goes above uh, the cutoff so if all goes well we'll be able to demonstrate that uh, later on uh, 
for now uh, let's just uh, select function one and uh, to do that uh, you have to press this run button while the unit is powering up okay like so okay so the display is now showing uh, f u n one which means function one and then you can uh, select other options by rotating this uh, rotary encoder function one or function two then you set that by pressing this run button right here okay the next will be uh, to select if the buzzer or the alarm will sound or will be silent uh, for this be on meaning the buzzer is on or be off meaning the alarm or the buzzer is off so let's just select it to on like so and then it goes to standby mode uh, displaying the minimum cut of voltage and the minimum current which is around 200 milliamps okay so let's just uh, uh, reset uh, let's just uh, reset the load by powering it uh, on or off okay so uh, the power supply uh, channel one is set to 12 volts okay uh, let me verify this uh, current setting right here this should be around uh, half an amp like, like so yes uh, I thought it's just uh, set way below but it's just drawing 60 uh, milliamps as a standby current for this okay so it's uh, properly set while the load on channel 2 will be set to around 3.5 volts okay at 1 amp let's just uh, set the cut of voltage of the load to 3 volts okay and then the current draw just the same 200 uh, milliamps okay, let's just uh, do that right here Let's just set this to 3 volts okay and then uh, let's turn on the load and we should run this okay so the the load is now running as you can see uh, the voltage uh, being monitored by the load is off by around 5, uh, five millivolts uh, from what uh, the meter is showing right now okay so it's uh, 3.5 but the current is the same it's uh, 200 milliamps this is 200 milliamps okay so let's uh, dial down the load as if uh, the load is uh, uh, going below this uh, cut of voltage and the expected result should be uh, as the load goes below uh, 3 volts as uh, uh, set for this one uh, it should sound an alert okay so let's just uh, dial the load down okay so right now it's uh, the meter showing 3.32 and this is 3.25 so way way off okay I can uh, maybe retest this uh, later on if uh, the readings will still not match properly because this is very important uh, in uh, monitoring circuits uh, the voltage and current should be close enough okay so let's just continue dialing this down so we're just uh, above 3 volts uh, 3.09 and this is 3.02 already so there's a difference of around uh, 7 millivolts okay. so as we continue to go down there so the power supply is at s sitting at 3.04 while uh, the load is detecting that it's way below 3 volts so it's sounding an alarm but uh, as you'll notice uh, the, the load continues to run and if I increase the source voltage are uh, above 3 volts and this goes above 3 volts this should continue running and recover okay like so so that's uh, uh, function 1 okay so next up we'll go to uh, function number 2 
Okay, so let uh, me just uh, reset the supplies and the meters. Okay, so we'll uh, set this back again to 3.5 volts. Okay, and then we'll select uh, function 2 for this uh, dummy load. Okay, so let's just uh, reset this. Okay, so now we select function 2 like so and still the buzzer will be on okay so it goes to the previous setting right now uh, uh, and the cutoff voltage will be 3 volts and the uh, current let's just reset that to the same uh, 200 milliamp range okay, so let's just uh, reset the uh, the load if it will remember this function or these settings okay so uh, it retains the current setting right now we are at function 2 and then uh, let's uh, observe the behavior the expected result right now will be as I dial this down to below way below 3 volts this should sound an alarm but uh, it should not uh, run continuously meaning it will uh, just cut off the current draw from the power supply and then uh, even if I dial down the power supply way above the cutoff it should not recover or uh, it should not reset itself so let's just try that for now let's power on the load and then let's run this okay so again there's a difference of uh, around uh, 3.44 and uh, 5 or 6 mil uh, millivolts uh, between the power supply reading and the cutoff uh, volt uh, the monitored voltage by the dummy load and uh, during this run uh, the meter is alternating the display between the voltage the ampere R and the uh, watt R or power being consumed uh, by the dummy load okay so let's just uh, try dialing down the load to way below the cut of voltage let's say uh, the behavior is like a battery being uh, discharged so let's just uh, do this right now I'm dialing this down like so there you go so uh, as the meter goes uh, or as the source goes below the cut off voltage this uh, sets an alarm uh, the current display is off meaning it's not uh, drawing any load anymore and even if I dial the meter up to, uh, the power supply sorry up to 3.5 volt it will not recover let's just uh, reset this okay so after it goes off it displays the current capacity or ampere R uh, consumed by the load so that's uh, the main difference uh, between function 1 and uh, function 2. For the next test, uh, we'll, uh, I, I would like to verify the thermal cutoff for protection for the circuit because uh, that's also very important for a dummy load. Uh, as you know, if a dummy load is running, this uh, component right here this I think is a MOSFET it heats up that's why it, the heatsink is attached to a fan uh, to keep the temperature down but if something goes wrong and this continues to heat to heat up uh, the component uh, might be damaged so a thermal protection is equipped in uh, in this unit okay, so let's just uh, verify that and to do that I will let's just uh, reset the meter right here okay so we're still at mode 2 right now uh, 
to verify the thermal cutoff of this one, I will use my I will use my hot air gun here. Uh, I will just uh, 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 hit up the temperature sensor right there. It's a it's a thermistor which should uh, uh, indicate that the uh, uh, MOSFET is heating up and uh, at a certain temperature, although I cannot verify that right now, uh, it should uh, turn out the load. Okay, so let me just power up my hot air. Okay, so it's just okay. So let's uh, start this running. Okay, so right now it's uh, running. It's uh, alternating the display again to the volts of the source, the ampere R, and the uh, uh, power or what are being uh, uh, drawn by the load so let's just uh, hit this up I expect the fan to maybe speed up a little as this is warming up like so see that as the temperature of the sensor goes up the, uh, the, the fan tries to cool things down by speeding up like so Okay, seems to be working. I got it to uh, to cut up at a set temperature. Although I cannot verify that because I have uh, no available uh, temperature probe right here. But at least I know it, uh, it's uh, working right now. It's displaying OTP. Uh, I think it's over temperature or something, and then will stop running definitely and it will not uh, continue to run unless you reset this button okay so I think uh, this unit is good uh, my next step for this uh, project will be measuring some the measuring the dimensions of this it will it, it will fit on the enclosure I have in mind which is this one right here uh, it's uh, an aluminum it's an old modem with a nice aluminum body uh, along with this uh, LCR meter so if you want uh, more uh, or detailed uh, review and description of this uh, dummy load uh, you can uh, just uh, search on Google or YouTube and there uh, already many resources for this one okay so I'll uh, uh, just uh, verify the measurements okay yeah. and then uh, I'll go on to the next step